Welcome to Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and I hope you like my Facebook page Rustic Cottage Co, my group Rustic Cottage Co and my YouTube channel Rustic Cottage Co. This video is to inspire you. Please give the thumbs up, like, tell your friends and pass the word on. That will help my business. I much appreciate the time you're taking to enjoy this video. Please keep watching and let me know what you think in the comments and thank you again for watching Rustic Cottage Co from Julie. Have a great day. Enjoy the movie. Hello and welcome. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I'm here in BC Canada, west coast of Canada in Chilliwack. And I thought I'd just introduce myself because it's been a little while and I've got some new viewers. So hello and welcome. Um, one of the things, I had a crazy morning this morning. I usually get on with kind of showing my thrift store stuff and um, my thrift haul straight away in the morning, get going as soon as I got it. But I had some customers coming in. I had some things to fix up, some pictures to take. It was just a little bit of a crazy morning. Those are energetic and fun, but right now I need to just... <sighs> anyway, so I went to the thrift store today and uh, wanted to go, was in the mood, so went. And I picked up this. Hold on. This here is so heavy. I mean, I'm not being ridiculous, but it's thick, heavy, full glass. Now, I liked the price of this, Oh, I'm echoing. <laughs> I like the price of this. I like the sturdiness. I liked how it looked. But I have said over and over the last couple of thrift haul videos I've done that glass doesn't usually sell well for me. But I had this idea. I'm wondering what you think. I'm thinking of actually this. I don't know if I can hold it here. Hold on. This part down. Painting and leaving this part up glass. So to this part down here looking like a stem, uh, something that it's on and holding it and painting it. Um, I think it would come out nice. That's what I'm thinking. What do you think? Is it a good idea? I could also use it as a goldfish bowl. <laughs> that would be good too. What do you think I should do with this piece? I'm gonna settle it down before I drop it because if that dropped, Whoa, <laughs> that one's heavy. Another big item I picked up was this. This was in the 70% off area. Now it's not perfect for rustic, it's not. And it's even got, that looks like it's actually secured, welded in this. So I'm going to make this more rustic and I'm actually gonna find some kind of maybe plant or something to put in here and sell as is the whole thing for spring. So that's what I'm thinking with this one. So I'm gonna look for that nice plant, good solid plant, but not too expensive because then plants can get really expensive, don't you find? Then it's not gonna be something someone wants to buy. That yeah, they would go to a you know a nursery or something like that. So that I'm I, it's already cream, it's been it's old, it's cream colored metal, but someone's tried to paint it white in so, only some places. So some of it's cream, some of it's white. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go with that. I kind of, I'm, I'm making it more white, but I'll make it rustic so that the hit and miss areas actually look right. So I'm gonna have some fun with that one there. And it's all metal. What else do I have here? Oh yes. Now jugs don't usually sell for me, but I like the size of this one. I liked the roundness of this one. I enjoyed this one. I am gonna paint it. I think it's a great size for staging. And if this does not, well, it's made in Portugal. It's got on it, but if it doesn't sell, um, I think I'm just going to enjoy having the yumminess of this size and shape in my staging. So I'm going to have fun with that one. What 
else do I have? Oh, this is another yummy one. This here is completely rusted out. I don't know what it's supposed to be like bird. Oh, there's a can to put candles on. The little house, it's, it's rust, completely rusted out. Um, I love the shape of this little house and this is gonna look amazing for um, some of my primitive stuff, some of my um, staging stuff. It's just, oh, love this. This is beautiful. See that patina on there? It was um, $6, um, 10% off, which is my usual just because I am a member, 10% off. Now this is real rust. It's literally, you know, turning my hands a little kind. So I am going to put a matte clear coat over the whole of this and then let that dry so it keeps all this yumminess in, doesn't come off on my hands and it's safe to be touching and safe to sell because they all it'll be, have a clear coat on it. I won't be able to get the clear coat completely inside, so I'll have to do a little bit of disclaimer of real rust. Um, but I'm gonna do some painting on it too, but when I distress, wet distress back, I'll be wet distressing back to this yumminess. So I'm gonna have some fun with it. I also picked up some more books. Um, I have someone asking for a set of books that is not my usual book, so I'm going to have a play with it, see what it comes out like, and hopefully it's good. And, uh, and if they like it, they can purchase it and go from there. And so that book stack will be done soon. And also, last but not least, there was quite a few different... Um, napkin ring holders there was a few of them most of them for the set of four was about three to four dollars this one was only a dollar and the reason it was only a dollar is that it's just very cheesy glittery silver perfect for maybe christmas day you know but this is not anyone's cup of tea now what I buy these for is I use them for little legs, little feet for the risers that I do. So when I'm getting a piece of wood and I use these for the risers for the feet. So I'm going to be painting these and paint over the, all this. It's, it is glittery, but it's solid. It's not flaking off in my hands whatsoever. So it'll be easy to paint. And it was only a dollar um, with my 10% off. So um, those make great feet whenever you find napkin rings. Either keep them or make them into feet for your risers. That's what I use those for. So that was my thrift haul. I didn't find lots of stuff, but I found some really good stuff. Stuff that I love and, and I will enjoy playing with them, creating with them and show you at the end of the video what I do with them. Um, see what comes out of them and some of these are going to be very hard for me to not keep myself but i'll be a good girl i also picked up these two trays from the thrift store that i actually forgot to show you they were still in the box when i went to put it away and i'm like oh my goodness so this tray here is a slightly smaller one slightly thinner one and it does have a picture on it which is engraved it's kind of a little bit more engraved with the writing and a little less engraved with the actual picture. I think it's pretty and it's from Kitty Mat BC, which is, I'm in BC, British Columbia, Canada. So I'm going to paint over it and see if I can get the actual detail to pop back. If not, then I'll paint over the whole thing. We'll see how it goes. Now this one here, it's got this matting here. This will definitely get painted, but it has some interesting sides. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to actually um, paint this up and really wet distress back um, some of the side parts with the metal and the wood and everything. 
and what, what distress back on this I actually even like the color of the wood so I'm not going to put a base coat on this but this part here I am going to um, completely paint over I'm not going to wet distress back I don't like anything that's kind of woven basket wet distressed back um, I'm not sure why um, if I like the fully painted look and then display it up with some decor over the top, then that's great. And if not, then I'll put something over this. So we'll see what comes next with these two items. And next, I'm going to show you what happened to those last pieces of furniture. Remember, I did the four pieces um, out of this piece of furniture. Do you remember this? It's been ongoing for the last couple of videos. Anyway, take a look. This I'm going to be working on. I'm so excited to get going on it. Uh, it's got some drawers, it's got some unique doors, all kinds of things going on. I love this piece, but can you guess what I'm going to do with this piece? So that was the piece that I originally did one of my shorts and um, I was introducing the piece, I was thinking, wondering what to do with it and coming up with some ideas. So what follows next is what I actually did with that piece. The top part, I um, ended up doing uh, an entryway table. Do you remember it? The next part was the bottom part, the two drawers at the very bottom, and I turned them into um, a coffee table, Rustic Farmhouse One. Do you remember it? Here it is. So you can guess, I finally, finally did it. I actually did the middle part and I have finished and made these two amazing pieces out of it. I love how they came out. It took me a little while to think of them. And then when the idea came, it just all came together. I used the one original piece of furniture and made four pieces. Look at the last two pieces I made and see what you think. I think they came out amazing. I know it's taken a couple of weeks and I've shown a few times this, but here it is all together. The uh, last two pieces with the other two just shown, here is the last two pieces of furniture. These two side tables have come out amazing. I love how they come out. They are from the middle section of the original piece of furniture. I did add two pieces of wood to it from a new piece of furniture. Um, but this is what's come of it. I've done an overhang wood top, pallet wood top, and then on each of them we have pallet wood shelves and bottom. Again, I think they came out a wonderful, and it's time to uh, start to stage them up and display them. So what do you think? These are the last pieces from that original piece of furniture. We did the entryway table top. We did the rustic farmhouse coffee tables. And now these two, I would say, modern farmhouse side tables.
I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.